Hi, what's up? Uh, my name's Tom, and I just want to say, like, I don't, I'm a conservative, and I don't disagree with a lot, but one thing that hasn't really, I haven't really heard an argument to change my mind about mm -hmm. is the wall. So I'm curious to see, like, from my perspective, I feel like it's a waste of taxpayers. I don't think it's like a racist thing. Like, I don't think it's racist to build the wall, but I think that given the fact that our country has a lot of resources militarily, especially in surveillance, that there'd be better ways to allocate those resources using to track people who are crossing illegally maybe instead of building like a billion dollar wall that we're probably gonna have to end up paying for. So my, opinion, my question to you is like, is the wall even worth it if we have like better options, you know, instead of having to pay for it? The wall is worth it. The walls work. Walls are great. As a student of history, I've <laughs> looked back at some ancient cultures, the Chinese for instance, uh, even in the early modern, you know, the Vat Vatican City has a wall. And meanwhile, certain people in the Vatican tell us that walls don't work. They're all hiding behind a wall. Um, uh, Israel has walls. They're surrounded by enemies. They have walls. Walls work. They work around this building. They work around our homes. They are effective. Uh, the amount of money that the wall costs is not terribly high. The driver of our debt and deficit is Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security. You are not going to put America on a path to fiscal solvency by taking a few bricks out of the wall. It just ain't going to happen. And uh, by the way, we have a president who famously builds walls. That guy, I bet you, you know, he'll be able to get the costs down 40, 50 percent. You'll be thrilled. Even if Mexico, <laughs> even if Mexico doesn't want to pay for it. And by the way, we have many mechanisms at our disposal to make Mexico pay for it. Let me tell you, they're, they're talking about taxing trade or taxing this or that. That's fine. If you tax remittances from Mexican nationals, illegal aliens who send money back to their families in Mexico, if you put a tax on that or if you put a stop on that, you would, Mexico would build the wall. They would all go, they'd build that wall in two seconds. There are many ways to, to deal with this. It's an important structure too symbolically because it shows there is a boundary. We will not uh, we will not tolerate people violating our basic laws. And furthermore, we don't want the military to be acting as the police. Uh, we don't want to do that. We don't want to be in a situation. We want our, our uh, soldiers to be ready to go fight wars and to defend us. Uh, and uh, also, as a matter of law enforcement, we have not been able to enforce it our laws. This is a problem of the courts, this is a problem of the laws and resources in law enforcement. We have 2,000 people, at least, flooding into our country every day illegally. These are record highs and they aren't going to change. It's because the economy is doing very well in large part. Uh, the only way to stop that is to make clear, one, we will enforce, sure, we will deport people who need to be deported, but we need a permanent solution. Because if you don't have a permanent solution, once we're out of power, if we don't build the zillion dollar wall that goes it's 10 feet higher and it's look really big and beautiful, once we're out of power, uh, the Democrats will much more e easily undo all of those gains. Uh, I know I'm not allowed to ask a follow-up question. All right, one follow-up. Maybe it might be more interesting. Uh, I guess my follow-up question, like, where I disagree, is I know obviously with the, with the caravans, like a whole different scenario, but I'm talking about like, what about the people that fly in and overstay their visas? Like, yeah. that's a m huge majority of people. Yeah, that, that's a serious problem. There's, uh, there's birth tourism in China, uh, or not in China, there, there is Chinese birth tourism in California, whole hostels of women who are just here to give birth and uh, produce anchor babies. This is because of the anchor baby policy, and I'm all for overturning that policy too. It's, it clearly creates perverse incentives. It hurts people. It hurts people who come to this country illegally, who are brutalized by bad men who want to exploit desperate women, and I think we should stop it.